Hey there everyone welcome to Technoholic. In this quick video we will be talking with you about the latest build from Microsoft which is build 22593. In this particular build which is 22593 we will see a lot of changes in terms of additional feature. So let's start discussing about the new features that roll with this build one by one. So starting with improved windows search box. So if you see here the windows search box is now become more smarter with time. You will see the recommendation here based on your interest. The same search box can also be accessed by pressing windows button and if you click here you can see we again went back to windows search box. The next change that I'm going to talk about is with windows plus x context menu. Here if I place it side by side in the new context menu here we can see the addition of terminal and terminal admin feature which was not present in our previous build. The next update is with the file explorer. So if I open the default file explorer here instead of this PC now you will see home. You will also see the slight change in the default home page of windows explorer. For example here we used to have quick access now this area is now being renamed to quick access. Also if you have any pin document that can be found in favorite. In recent you will see the recent access file or folder as it is. Not only that you will also see the title integration with Microsoft Office as recent and pin file displayed in home are now searchable using the search box in file explorer. Even if they are not local file and they are in cloud you can also find office file recently shared with you by your teammates. Also if I talk about this focus area. Previously we generally used to have like 15 minutes of increment but if you go less than 30 minutes here you will see the 5 minutes increment or decrement up to 30 minutes which is quite nice I would say if you want to have you know slight increment or you want to have shorter focus time. You may also find Microsoft general application now being pinned by default on this pen menu. As we can see here the third icon. And if you do not have installed this application then it will be installed from Microsoft Store if chosen on the pen menu. So let's click here because I have already installed it. So I can directly open it but let's say in your case you do not have it then just go to store and search for Microsoft Journal. This one. And then from here you can install it. If you want to know more about this application then I have created a dedicated video on Microsoft Journal that you can find in the description of this video. So this application look like this and if I open it then here you can see how we can easily write in this application using pen tab or if you have touch screen device then also you can use this application uh, quite easy. As because this is not the tutorial on Microsoft General so I will be quitting this application as of now. As I told before if you want to see this application in action then you can check out the detailed video on Microsoft General. Apart from that there is a memory integrity module uh, which is available with Windows 11. Let me just quickly open that first. So for that you need to click on this Windows button then you need to click on setting. And here click on privacy and security click on windows security and here in device security you will find the core isolation just click on that and here you will find this option which is memory integrity. This actually prevent attacks from inserting molecular code into high security processes. So if this feature is turned off for you the windows 11 will notify us that this feature is currently turned off. Due to some Logitech driver incompatibilities, I am not able to turn it on but possibly you may. So here we can see review incompatible driver and I can find that this issue is due to this Logitech driver. But as I said before in your case maybe you can easily turn it on. One more feature that I would like to talk with you about if you press windows and Z it will open the snap layout. Now the layout will show the associate number so that we can quickly use the number key to select the desired layout. For example I would like to have this first kind of layout so I will press 1 and you know in this way guys we can easily select the layout. 
now the last thing that i'm going to talk with you about is the improvement in terms of keyboard input so let me just open a new word document and now i'm just going to paste uh, the following code so last one is some improvement in inputs so it is actually for a particular style keyboard which is adlam keyboard so if you are not using the adlam keyboard layout then it really doesn't mean a lot for majority of user but maybe it is required for this particular layout apart from that there is certain improvement in pasto keyboard again i do not have this particular keyboard layout installed so maybe i may not able to show you this particular feature in microsoft windows blog portal apart from that there are so many bug fixes that happen with this version of windows if you want to know more then do check this blog that i'm going to attach in the description of this video you can read more about the fixes that comes with this version of windows i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye